This week on Podcast to Master, we welcome you to October for our first Halloween episode. For the whole month of October, we'll have a variety of Halloween-themed episodes, including this week's, where we'll talk employment of the Disney villain variety. Who can we work for while knowing we'll be safe and taken care of? Stick around and find out on Podcast to Master. Hey there, and welcome back to Podcast to Master. I am your host this evening. My name is Wade, and I'm here with my good friends Ethan and Chelsea. What's going on? Hey. It's been a week. Uh, we have finally crossed the border into October. Um, did anybody wake Green Day up? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's my band director joke of the day. I got that out of the way. Um, I see that. Actually, I, that's I went all... through my whole week without anybody saying that to me. I feel and like I was it, like, oh, <laughs> yeah, as as you uh, as the, you know, you keep going in your teaching career, less and less people are going to get that reference. <laughs> so, oh, man, you are true. you are right. There are things that the kids I make jokes about and they're like, huh? They're like, and what? I'm like, oh, God, this isn't even a my childhood thing. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I went I went and learned that specifically so I can make a joke about it. Don't you do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> well, um, that, is a ter- that is a terrible song, though. <laughs> so. oh, that's mean. It's too bad. Oh, man. it's a that's pretty terrible bad. album, honestly. Oh, stop! <laughs> you like that Green Day album? Yes, it's one of their best albums. <laughs> no, dude, what are not you at all. About? Not at all. <laughs> it's like the- classic Green Day. I don't know. I wouldn't say classic at all. I, mean, I would. <laughs> Not at all I, classic. That's a. That's when they started getting more mainstream, and their and then their sound was more like ra- they're more like radio hit kind of a band. Well, that's they're like what people know the most. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that uh, maybe that's why. Maybe I'm like a contrarian and gre- a are. green day a green day <laughs> contrarian. You absolutely are. <laughs> I don't remember. What, I can't remember what the album's called, but the one that has a uh, brain stew on it—that's their best album. Is that? Is it Dookie? Yeah, Dookie. Their, yeah. their first album. Yeah. <laughs> I always forget what it's called. I always want to say Poopy. <laughs> I mean, it's close. It's close, yeah. Close, it's but close. yeah, I love. That's a. That's their best album. Now, they kind of went I'll downhill go, from there. I'll go. I'll go up to the to the. I, is it American Idiot? Is that the one that has yeah like, American the, Idiot's the, the album, main, the yeah. popular songs on it? I'll yeah. go up to that, but everything after that, I just couldn't, I couldn't do anymore. Oh yeah, they really derailed after American Idiot. But hey, at the end of the day, they still make more money than all three of us put com- <laughs> uh, combined and like quadrupled. So it doesn't <sighs> matter. Yeah, that's a pretty low bar though. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I get that on a daily basis. I mean, I'm a stay-at-home dad, so my bottom line is <laughs> the very bottom. <laughs> so, anyways, welcome to October. Happy, yeah, ha- hooray! Happy spooky season. <laughs> Nothing scarier than Green Day, American Idiot. <laughs> well, have has anybody watched any uh, any Halloween movies yet? Anybody gotten into the spirit yet? Not unless you count Nomadland as a horror film. <laughs> I don't know what that is, so no. No, I would. <laughs> it's a good film. I would not say that's a horror film. It might be horrifying for some people, <laughs> but yeah. I love that was. It was an amazing film. We don't have to get into it, mm-hmm. but I do want to watch uh, *Malignant*, which is that new James Wan uh, film, because I think it leaves HBO and like three days as of this recording oh wow <laughs> so but that's uh, i think that's how i'm going to kick off the halloween season is with that film but i also have like a huge list of like halloween movies that i watch every october so we just kind of get real basic we go like lots of hocus pocus and nightmare oh. before christmas and we just yes. kind of watch those things a lot <laughs> Do you guys Although, watch Nightmare for Christmas for Halloween it. and Christmas? It, like October first to December thirty first. It's just yeah. it's all fair game. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. I'm the same way. Mm-hmm. It's a Christmas film and a Halloween film. I get to yep. I double dip that movie. <laughs> you got it. You got it. I I do though want to watch um, the It movies this month. Um, like the the new the two new ones. Um, yeah, I watched yeah, yeah. those in theaters and I really really liked them. 
Um, and when the first one came out, like in theaters, I bought the original like mini series. Oh um, yeah, and I still haven't watched it yet. It's, it's uh, like it's like four hours long or something like that. Yeah, because it was like it was released as like two parts. It was like a special mm-hmm. on like uh, there's like ABC, I think. Something like that. Uh, I really want to watch. Finally, watch that. I haven't gotten to. I'd love to read the book too, like you're doing, Ethan. But oh boy, I just I don't <laughs> have is, time to read. Crap, that so. get ready for a year, a years long. Yeah, conference. that is an endeavor. <laughs> so for for the uh, for the listeners out there who don't know, every October I pick up and continue reading uh, it, and this October marks the fourth year. So and I'm like halfway through the book. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I only read it in October. Once October's over, I, I put it back on the shelf and wait till next year to pick up where I left off. So by that, and you know, another three, four years, I'll be finished with the book. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I will say it is, uh, it's very, very good. It's not like it's taken me a long time because it's not good. It's just incredibly dense and very, uh, um, like almost borderline like overwrought with how much like detail and and stuff he's putting into it so it just sometimes it can become tedious mm-hmm. yeah. I, I think for me halloween movies i don't really watch a whole lot of like horror movies or anything or thrillers i'll probably watch halloween town and oh. some random oh, heck yeah. halloween movie i've never seen before although i might watch the fear street trilogy that was on netflix that came out earlier this summer i actually heard good things about that Mm-hmm. so so i'll see how that goes I'll, I'll come up with a list of some uh some spooky movies for you to watch that will uh make you feel very uncomfortable <laughs> so. oh so the list of movies i will not be watching i see <laughs> <laughs> a list that you will let sit on the coffee table and everyone no everyone. no they're yeah. so good they're so good they're so good they're not scary they more just are like uh you know, like earwigs for the mind. It's stuff that just uh, makes you uncomfortable. Oh, and... no. <laughs> I know some of the things you've watched. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to pass That'll on be that, a too. Trip. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Just, yeah, I, 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 I love this genre, but it's I recognize that it's one that is done poorly more often than not. So, <laughs> so when good horror comes around, I definitely like to... Uh, you know dive into it but boy there's a lot of bad horror movies out there <laughs> well yeah they're you know they're they're generally easy to make they're money makers oh 100 percent. very you know, low budget you don't have to yeah you don't have to put a lot into it to make money back so like the original like paranormal activity was made for like what eighteen thousand dollars whatever and it made yeah. like you know a couple hundred million <laughs> so that return on investment mm-hmm. is incredible but I'll tell you, so going to going to the makes. theater to see that yeah. though, that first one, like I've never had an experience like that before. Oh yeah, dude, that movie was the first movie. Actually, was uh, it just kind of throws you off because besides the Blair Witch Project, there really wasn't a whole lot of like mm-hmm. found footage uh, kind of movies in that genre for sure. Very true. And they actually did a really really good job with it. And then they've made like seventeen sequels. So <laughs> that's another like trope of like horror movies. It's like if one's a hit, then they have to make it, you know, make as many as they can mm-hmm. until they until they can't anymore. The purge. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, dude! The purge. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's hilarious to see how them. creative they can be with the titling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like all oh, the purge, the final purge, the forever purge patriot purge it's like what the fuck are we even doing now (laughs) i'm just waiting for the next one to be like purged purge 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 like keep on purging (laughs) purging. electric purgaloo yeah exactly like like i want them to just go ridiculous with it (laughs) that's the best thing you know i heard i heard today that apparently there is a going to be like some kind of chucky series coming out yeah yeah, and I'm that. just I. Why do I have to live in a timeline where that's a thing? <laughs> Did you watch the one where uh, Mark Hamill was like the voice of Chucky? 
Is that like the newest one? Yeah, I think it came out like maybe last year. Or the no, year I did. I did not watch it. Thank you for asking, though. No. I, haven't, I haven't seen it either, but I just saw that Mark Hamill was voicing Chucky. And I was like, honestly, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty I mean, good guy for good Chucky. Good for them. Yeah, good for them. I'm sure that's cool, but I will not be partaking in any of that nonsense. <laughs> yeah, when I, I remember was, when I was a little kid, I had a babysitter who made me watch the Chucky movies and like. If I put anything up, like, to cover my eyes, she would take it away from me. Uh, <laughs> because I was being a wimp. I was also, like, six. <laughs> um, That's so, terrible. So that left me with a really big, like, trauma there for the Chucky movies. Um, and it would, if, if, if I, like, had a, even a glimpse of him after that, it would give me, like, nights of nightmares <laughs> afterwards. It was such a stupid thing. And I, one day in the late high school or college, I can't remember which, I was back at home and they were doing some kind of marathon of the movies. <laughs> and I was I was the only one home and it was the middle of the day. So that was nice. But I was just like, nope, screw this crap. I'm getting over this right now. And I sat down in a chair and I watched like the first three and like the Bride of Chucky, I think it was. Oh, just God. boom, 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 <laughs> boom. And I got up and I was like, okay. Nope made it worse <laughs> no no it, i was i was a lot better like i can see it now without mm. get, going into fits yeah <laughs> basically well, that's um but Aww. i'm also i'd also not going to go watch them anymore i'm over it they can they got what they wanted out of me i guess so dude i got relations to them i got a childhood uh chucky story for you so i, I remember watching child's play the first one at like a friend's house and then uh, and Ethan is muted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, on the weekends, I would always go uh, grocery shopping with my mom at like the local Walmart. And outside, they had a little like one of those claw machines with all the stuffed animals and nonsense in it, and it had a Chucky doll in there. What is wrong? Oh with gosh! People? And I just saw it, you know, and I just like recently watched the film. I was like, oh my god, that's Chucky. That's so creepy, and you know. And then like the next weekend, we went back to that. Uh, you know, same Walmart, get groceries, and the Chucky doll wasn't in there, but the machine was also out of order. Like, it was, like, broken. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, that motherfucker broke out. <laughs> oh, Jesus <man>. Christ. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Oh, that's See, that's great. probably a connection that I would have made, except <laughs> it would not have thrilled me. It would have killed me. It would have, I would have just cried there in the middle of Walmart. Right yeah. Now. Like, I can't go in, Mom. Chucky's running loose. <laughs> Legit. Oh, and she would have rolled her eyes and dragged me in, so. <laughs> and I just, I would have just bawled my way through the entire store. It's fine. <laughs> yep. I remember watching all those, like, uh, you know, like Child's Play and uh, Friday the 13th and Halloween and uh, Pet Cemetery and all that stuff. You know, as a kid, you know, like, we didn't really have any sort of, like, uh, filter growing up, so pretty much just, and I had an yeah. older sibling, so... <laughs> Kind of just watched all kinds of nonsense. Yeah. See, like, outside of the Chucky movies, I watched all sorts of other things. Like the yeah. Puppet Master movies. Oh, uh, what are those? Uh, Hellraiser. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Like, I watched all those, and I never blinked an eye at those. Pinhead like, is so, like, cartoonish. You can't even take him seriously. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, really? But, like, what Puppet is, Master, is though, is kind of messed up. Yeah. So yeah, are the, it, uh, the Leprechaun movies if like oh, at yeah. the right at the right age those are creepy mm -hmm. <laughs> now but they're just like kind of like jokes none of, none of those ever i wasn't scared by a scary movie again until until paranormal activity came out dude i'll tell you a recent film that I legitimately scared me like i like i like i yelped and jumped it was uh, hereditary i watched it maybe mm. three years ago <sighs> that movie i don't think i've heard of that yeah, oh you, I've heard of that. Read about it. That's, that's one of the films I want you to watch. <laughs> I, <laughs> go. Yeah, I, that's what I figured. <laughs> go. You know, like, yeah. I did that with the It movies too. Like the It movies did scare me, although that, that's not exactly the purpose of the movies. You know, like they're movies about fear, but they're not like scary movies. Yeah. Although yeah. you get a lot of scary in them, though. Yeah. You know, um, I I jumped and shouted several times during those. Like oh yeah, I remember. Theater. We watched we watched chapter two at the uh, at the forum. Oh yeah. Yeah. You watched the first one without me, but we watched chapter two. It was me, you, and uh, uh, maybe your roommate at the time. 
we went to the forum and watched it. Oh, that's the only that's the only time I've ever been to the forum. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's like when I first moved up here. Yeah. 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 You're right. I remember that. Oh God. You were clinched the whole time because you were holding the popcorn. I know. I was like, <laughs> I was like, let's do it. I want to get scared. <laughs> so. I would, so I know we've talked about before that certain video games freak me out and that like, you know, they kind of scare me at times, but for like horror movies and stuff, I'm not scared by them. I just don't like them. They just don't really hold my interest. And sometimes I just think they're just like nasty mm-hmm. and it's not something I grew up watching. Yeah. So that's sometimes why I've seen they're just so gratuitous, few. you know, like, sometimes not yeah. a good plot. There's not good characters. Yeah. If you're not here to get scared, like this isn't a movie yeah. you're actually going to enjoy. There's definitely a lot of movies that focus on more just like shock and and uh, gore and stuff like that to try, you know, because they can't, they don't have mm-hmm. a good story or good actors or anything <laughs> else. But the yeah. the true gems out there, like especially now, like there's like sort of like a renaissance in like horror where there's like a lot of like art house horror films that actually that. that actually have a lot of really good storytelling and symbolism. And they're not really out there to like shock you. They're more to just like make you just feel uncomfortable. And that's like the kind of horror mm. that I like. Like I don't like jump scares because I find them cheap, and a lot of them don't feel a lot of them don't feel earned. Like a, a true jump scare has to be like an earned achievement. It can't just be I don't know random. I guess there has to be like a sort of like pacing and build up and like kind of like a tension beforehand. Mm-hmm. But I like a movie where I'm just sitting there in like the full like two hours and I just like feel like uncomfortable, you know, like I find I, 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 I like that. I don't know why. It's just <laughs> <laughs> I feel like horror is like one of the few uh, uh, like filming like film experiences where like it almost feels like it's interactive because you're having a lot of different like uh, reactions to it. And I like mm-hmm. that. Gaming though, hell yeah. Uh, scary games, like that shit messes me up. I like playing them, but oh, yeah. boy, howdy, like that's <laughs> that's a whole different experience there. Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope to everything on that front. Yeah, because you have like actual like agency with it. You know, like you're the one that has to like walk <laughs> yeah. into that room. You when know? when exactly. I get scared, it's my really fault. And I hate myself for it. Yeah, exactly, a hundred percent. Like, why and you did I know that I knew that was going to happen. A lot of the times, you know something's going to happen. You're like, "Well, I can't beat this mm-hmm. game until I open this door, so I just got to do it." <laughs> yep. You know, <laughs> get get the tears rolling then. Yeah, exactly. Just run really fast. <laughs> <laughs> just sprint through the entire game. <laughs> just hold the joystick forward and close your Flailing eyes. Flailing whatever flashlight you have in your hand. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Well. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. There's our nice little introduction to October that we didn't plan on <laughs> Yeah. What are you talking about? That was all scripted. <laughs> Not in my brain. I'll tell you that. Well, anyway, let's move on to the main topic here. Something a little bit lighter to start our month off. Not talking nope. about horror games. <laughs> We're easing you guys into this, so I, you're welcome. Something like that. The worst, <laughs> the worst of this episode is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for real <laughs> so um <laughs> our talking point for this episode is um the three of us need new jobs um and the disney villains mm-hmm. little campy you know little little less friday the 13th um <laughs> it, they're hiring um but you know sometimes the villains of disney get a little obsessive cranky dangerous you know whatever whatever fits fits the uh fits the situation so what which situation is best for us to work in <laughs> you know that's kind of that's kind of what we're looking at today um and now all three of us will have our own personal tastes based off the villains in question um you know we know that for the most part it'd be typically fun to work for a bunch of these people but is it going to be safe are you gonna get are you actually gonna get paid or yeah. offered room and board no way things like that are you gonna get fed or are you going to be fed to some you know like there's lots of questions mm-hmm. to ask here so we're gonna start with a more fun one i think um the first villain in question is captain hook Ooh, nice. Okay. you know who who doesn't want to work for 
a pirate? Um, I'll go first. I 100% do not want to work for Captain Hook, but it's because I get seasick. So, <laughs> so yes, absolutely. <laughs> so location, I location, location. Not for Ethan. <laughs> yeah, so I can I can see that going poorly for me on just a day to day work environment, unless I was like uh, like a harbor master, you know, and I was in charge of like docking his ship. <laughs> then I'll be like, oh, that, you know, then we can, you know, work something out. But working on a working on a boat out in the ocean with a lunatic sounds awful. he's not so much a lunatic (laughs) yeah i was gonna say i would actually enjoy (laughs) working for captain hook he would probably be one of the top disney villains i'd want to work for the reason being i don't mind being on a ship i mean who didn't want to be a pirate at some point as a child i feel like you know i'll revert back to me i (laughs) absolutely (laughs) hate water (laughs) and i have worked on ships and i still yeah but you see, I would be, you know, I would hope he would hire me. I'd be the person to help him out. I don't see, think he's a lunatic. I feel bad for him because of that stupid crocodile. For real. I would help him just finish for that real. crocodile off. Let's just get rid of that. Get it out of the way. Also, get rid of Smee. I can be his first mate, you know. <laughs> We're getting stuff done. Aww. Poor Smee. <laughs> oh, he's annoying. He's Poor worthless. crocodile. I mean, geez, I can... Overboard. The crocodile can have him. Finish off the crocodile. Call it good. Croc's just trying to eat, you know? He's just trying to eat. <laughs> but he has that clock in him. That's it not just, his. just sets Captain Hook off, and we don't need that. We need a villain who can focus. And it sounds so, like a Captain I, Hook problem. Basically, I'm improving the villains. <laughs> yeah, maybe she's not here to work. She's here to work. Maybe just feed Captain <laughs> Hook to the crocodile, and you can be the captain. I mean... And Smee could be your first you know. date. <laughs> oh, gosh, no. No, I'd help him finish off the crocodile. And, you know, if Peter Pan gets in the way or something and, you know, I just get tired of Captain Hook, then they can just fight. <laughs> and then I'll just take the ship. Peter Pan and his eyes. voice. This is the voice. true, like, uh, Chelsea villain origin story I, love this. I feel like I is am, coming. <laughs> I am... I, you know what? Like, good for you. Get Wait, what's your, what's your pirate name? <laughs> Oh gosh! Um, <laughs> Can't just go by Chelsea. That's that sounds way um, too uh, proper. I mean, C's right in there, and then I confuse people. I just go by my name, and so they're like, "Oh, you're just." It's very disarming. <laughs> yeah, and then they're just like, "Oh, whoa, there! Better watch out for Chelsea." So you I'm kind of stick with my name. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> She'll, well, she'll go on you her don't first ca- couple of adventures, and, like, the names always come naturally. She'll do something badass, and that's her name mm-hmm. now. You know, like, that's how it is. It'd be something, since you hate crocodiles so much, it'd be, like, Crocodile Chelsea or something. Or Chelsea Dial or something. Something like that. <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea Dial? Dial. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's just bad. That's not even a cool name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they don't, they're not all winners, you know? They're not all winners. Oh. Shot down. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I think I'd have fun working for Captain Hook. You know, like, all the pirates, they seem to be pretty happy. Um, they're just going on adventures, getting treasure, and then they have freaking mm-hmm. kids mess with them all the time. It's not like they're going after the kids. The kids are going after them, so. Yeah. I think I think it'd be a good time. You know, get some life experience along the way. I mean, if I can load up on Dramamine, sure. <laughs> you know we'll be fine some yeah. dramamine chase it with some energy drinks to counter the sleepiness you know I, there's like a there's some <laughs> sounds like a disaster right <laughs> hey hey hey! not to derail too much but my previous job i worked on the ocean for like two years and that was my getting up at 3 a.m i take two dramamine and then i would chug a monster just so i can function filming on a boat for 12 hours out in the middle of the ocean so It's a chemical disaster, but that's what you got (laughs) to do. I mean, you know, it 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 wasn't every like you didn't have to do that every single day you were alive. So you know, that's true. I I feel like I I feel like I wouldn't be here if that was my every day. That's fair. That's fair. I feel like my heart would have exploded by now. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) We'll find another villain for you to work for. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) one that will allow someone in a coma to work for him. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah. A medically induced coma. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A monster energy drink induced. Jeez. Oh God. All right. Well, let's see if we can find you one here. Um, let's let's add a little more chaos to the mix. Um, let's go mm. for this round. Let's go with the Queen of Hearts. Gosh. Oh God. No. <laughs> I what? feel like Why I would know. Why? I feel like I would lose my damn mind working for someone that is has that zero... a literal or figurative? Both, both. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I worked Bam. for her, I would be hanging out with the uh, caterpillar and the Cheshire cat a lot, and just whatever that dude's, you know, whatever that dude's got, whatever substances he's got on himself. That's Jesus. how I would have to cope working with the Queen of Hearts because I cannot stand working for anybody that has zero organization, and I feel like her, her her entire institution is just chaos and whimsy, and I would fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only props I can give her is that she doesn't let her man push her push her around; she pushes him around. The king. I mean, have you seen so. their size difference? <laughs> yeah, that's a whole. Yeah, that's a special. That's but, I'd, be, I'd be terrified. <laughs> but no, I could not work for her. I could not work for somebody like that. Just the way she treats the cards and everything. Mm-hmm. You don't want to work for somebody like that. Also, those and, like those two dopey twins. Like that's just that's like having like that's like middle management. Just oh like two gosh. dopes in middle management <laughs> that have zero idea what they're doing. Oh, gosh. Like, fuck no, dude. That just sounds like every corporation I've ever worked for. <laughs> I don't want to see that. And I mean, what's her end goal? Why do I want to work for her? What does she want to accomplish in life? You're run- running a damn kingdom. That's what we're doing here. Running it into the ground for no reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to be a part of that. No I way. Mean, to be fair, I don't think I would work for anybody in, in um, oh God, uh, Jesus Christ. What's the Wonderland? place called? Yeah, Wonderland. I can want to oh, say no. Neverland. I was like, that's not right. And Wonderland. <laughs> I wouldn't want to work for anybody in Wonderland. Like, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Also, they're totally not going to pay you. Oh, yeah, dude, no not. way. They would pay you in something that doesn't make sense, because nothing makes sense. Everything's the opposite. Everything, whatever's up yeah. is down. Like, They'll probably not feed you anything that's nutritious or safe, or worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah, dude, eat that... a freaking bite of a sandwich. Oh, it was made with the special <laughs> bread. Guess you're 20 feet tall now. Sorry. Like, what... yep. Wonderland's the place you like go to hang out after work. You know, <laughs> that's not that's the true. place. Yep. That's not the place yep. you go to work. <laughs> but you need that easy escape route to get out of there. Goodness, before things yeah. go really crazy. Yeah, Fair for enough. sure. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Um. Okay, I I love this one, so I gotta say this one. How about how about Isma? Oh, from the Emperor's hmm. New Groove. Uh, I hadn't thought about her. <laughs> I think I broke Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, she's kind of annoying. <laughs> she's, yeah, kind of a bitch. Like, <laughs> Uh, I couldn't work alongside Kronk, though. Mm. Eh, you probably wouldn't have to worry about Kronk too much, because she's always there with Yzma. Yeah, I, it's a pass for me. I just, I don't have a lot to say about that one. I know, like, you remember when they all got turned into animals? <laughs> and she excused the one guy from work because he got turned into an animal? Remember? She cares about her employees, you know? Yeah, I feel like if I was in a department where I didn't have to see her too often, sure. Yeah, like, she's just trying to run a kingdom, too. I mean, is it all about Yzma? For sure, but, you know, she's she's just trying to be a boss babe. That's all she's trying to do. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, I might give it a chance if all the other villains don't have any openings. So (laughs) So she'd be like... She's your fallback. Yeah, she's like a fallback. Yeah, there you go. She's like, okay. well, I guess I'll work for Taco Bell if I can't get this actual job. Because so. <laughs> I need yeah. the money. <laughs> mm-hmm. She'd probably pay, too. Oh, you know, she, yeah, of course. You think she'd definitely mm-hmm. pay. You know, again, yeah. all her guards were, they seemed pretty, you know, chill to work for her. So following out her orders to 
like kill the previous king they were like okay let's do it it's fine they, you know you know they're getting some kind of benefits out of it so. <laughs> yeah. what else okay. what else we got well um here's a fun one how about dr facilier who think oh, from well, I would... princess and the frog <laughs> Oh, I'm not messing with that voodoo. <laughs> I'm not messing with that. Voodoo? No, yeah, I'm not messing with his voodoo. Mm-mm. I well, still haven't also, seen that he's film, like, so. Broke. Like, yeah, also, um, broke. he's not the villain in charge, technically. It's the his friends on the other side, so. Mm-mm. Not dealing with that. Oh. It's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> yes. You're not working for Breaking him. Breaking this open now. Really? Yeah. He ain't gonna pay you. He ain't got no money. He don't have enough food. Yeah. He doesn't have a shirt. I'm not trading my soul to get a job. No, thank you. I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> Pyramid I can't scheme. Blame you for that. Yeah, I still haven't seen the film, so I don't know enough about him. I'd have to get on Indeed and look at the work profile. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go make like link- LinkedIn profiles for, for oh all these. Oh my films. gosh. That's what we. That's what we should have done. Dang. Oh. Yeah, we dropped the ball on that one. Oh well. Yeah. Maybe okay. you can. Have some let's this week. let's do, let's do this next one. How about, how about Ursula? Yeah. Once again, water. But you're in the water. You're not on the water. I would drown. I would die. Well, you would probably be some kind of a mermaid or something <laughs> yeah. like that. So you probably wouldn't be die. a merman. Probably Ooh, merman. Die. I could um, I... Ursula. Oh. Go ahead. What? No, go ahead. I was just gonna say, yeah, I can work for Ur- Ursula. There. She seems like she has uh, her house in order. She has an idea. She has plans. I can get down with that. And you know, she takes care of flotsam and jetsam. So, oh, oh yeah, hundred percent. Her, her poopsies and all that. I'm assuming that's what my job would be is actually like taking care of them, and cleaning up after <laughs> them, and. I think that's pretty fair. Yeah. You know, I do that. That's yeah. fine. I mean, this is definitely another villain that would be at the top of my list of, to want to work for. She's a boss. I mean, she needs to realize her full potential with her contracts. Like, she has the power there. She wants King Triton's Triton. And I'm like, girl, you have it all. You have those contracts, you know, with all your loopholes and stuff. It's it's people's fault if they don't read their contracts in full and then they get screwed over. Yeah, I mean, she's you're... She's doing you're, what she's doing, so... Yeah, you're basically just working for, like, a very successful, like, law firm. She's, well, she's like, she's I'm like Steve Jobs I was of a the paralegal. Sea. Yeah, it's like, it'd be like, it's like Keanu Reeves in Devil's Advocate. You just have to <laughs> accept the fact that you're working for pure evil, but you're gonna, <laughs> but you're gonna be filthy rich from you're, it. You're, so. Yeah, you're gonna, you're yep. on the correct side of that, and you're gonna win in the end. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> you can think, I'm you sold. can think however you want about it when you have retired in luxury at the end. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can go donate to the poor on on your retirement time. It's fine. Yeah, exa- yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can have morals on your day off. I mean, but we, you know, we mark it as we help those poor, unfortunate souls. So, mm-hmm. oh, look nice. at that either way. Mm-hmm. Nice. You got it. You got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, um, here's another fun one. How about Hades? Ooh. I don't know. I feel like he's usually violent to his employees. <laughs> So usually fair, zapping though, them, his, setting his them on his fire. His employees usually deserve it too. So that's fair. You know, because they're dumb. You would definitely be employee <laughs> of the month all the time. Knowing that that's a precedent, though, would worry me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe but, in you. Uh, I, I mean, think you'd be okay. Hades is a no for me. I'm not messing with the gods and their business. No way. And that, that's also probably safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm just going to pass on that. Yeah, because right. also, like, unless I'm immortal like them, I feel like this is a huge risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They might accidentally, like, do something, like, murderous, and then you actually die, and they're like, oh, yeah, I, for- I forgot. Yeah, and well, most of their endeavors are like the for the long so. game. Position like, open now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Grab another intern. I do feel like uh, if I was on his good side, though, we could have some pretty interesting conversations, though. Because he's kind of like uh, kind of witty, kind of a smart ass. I feel like we'd get along great. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, he likes to play games and stuff, too. So 
Yeah, hundred percent. Maybe you could just be his personal yeah. like, like game partner or something like that. Yeah, maybe we just be friends. Maybe we like you know, yeah. on our off time, we would just go hang out in Wonderland. You know. <laughs> so. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, I don't know man. if the Queen of Hearts would take too kindly to to, to Hades being in Wonderland, burning yeah, down she... all her roses. <laughs> yeah, she'd have to get over that. So yeah. Maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to get real classic on you here if I can. How about Radigan from The Great Mouse Detective? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, God. blast from the past here. Oh, Um, I'm trying to remember a lot about him. <laughs> he's a well, snappy he, dresser. He's a snappy dresser. Yeah. He is. An, he's an evil genius. Yeah. You know, he's an inventor. Uh, but he mm. does have his wildly feral and dangerous side as well. Yeah. yeah. He also has connections. You know, there's always that. I feel like at least I feel like if you're working for an evil genius, there's at least the chance of like. You know, you're going to witness some pretty interesting things. So, <laughs> or at least ideas. It, just would, it, around... wouldn't, it wouldn't be boring. Yeah, think about those like those uh, those Monday meetings where it's just like you're spitballing ideas. You know, those like little conference meetings. I feel like that'd be interesting with an evil genius. You know, just mm-hmm. seeing where where his mind's at. I get on board with that. Yeah, but those mood swings and that risk that you're putting yourself in there. Yeah, yeah. he gets mm. he gets extremely violent when things don't go his way. Yeah, I'd have to have him medicated. So, <laughs> you'll serve his—you'll serve his tea. His, yeah, his exactly. British tea. Oh yes, yeah. there you go. Put something in the tea there. Yeah, hundred percent. We would be giving him plenty of uh, some Xanax just to kind of keep him level-headed. You know. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we're all in agreement on him. <laughs> if we could ensure our safety, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Because, you know, his his little henchmen, they seem pretty jovial. They have a good time <laughs> carrying out their their brutish jobs. <laughs> Kid, kidnapping and the lot, you know. Yeah, see, I, I wouldn't want to be on the front lines with his organization. I'd want to be, an, an, <laughs> you know, an ideas man, you know, <laughs> big picture. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to be one of the grunts. <laughs> Probably safer, to be fair. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, I percent Okay, well, let's move on. Um, how about this one? How about Scar? No. No. He killed Mufasa. I don't know. I think we kind of saw what happened when he worked for Scar. Yeah, I feel like he hungry. is... I feel like he doesn't... Uh, he's not a forward thinker. <laughs> In the sense <laughs> where he has... He doesn't... He has, like... Uh, yeah, he doesn't really have, like, long... Shakespearean ter- ideals. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really have, like, long-term <laughs> plans, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he, also it, anyone who's like and he wants it now anyone who's like manipulative you can't trust him you know and i would always be looking over my shoulder and like i'd be paranoid all the time that i'm next you know couldn't do it okay i have a counterpoint for you plus he treats women like shit i can't do i can't deal with that either i still have a counterpoint oh, for that's you. True. <laughs> oh boy scar he has an amazing is, voice he is jeremy irons yeah he does have an amazing he is voice. jeremy irons See, I would like those, like, uh, those, uh, you know, those CEO speeches, you know, <laughs> I feel like you'd, you'd give like, a rousing speech. You'd get, you'd get talked down to and yeah, insulted but... so much, but that voice. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Speeches aren't going to get you anywhere in life. It's just, no. <laughs> no. Not here for that. He can inspire so me safe. short term. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a temp job, sir. I'm, you know. Yeah. I would be his intern. After he, after the coup was over, I'd be like, all right, I'm leaving. <laughs> well, I mean, he gets eaten, so there you go. Yeah, that too. Maybe I'd stay on for like a pardon or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I just got his coffee. Don't don't throw yeah. me overboard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Simba, sir. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sorry, Simba. I mean, if anything, this shows that I'm a survivor. You know, I can. Right, come just in doing what I could. I'm in it for the long haul. You know. I got. I wasn't even in the movie, man. Just leave me be. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Okay, all right, let's see. Who's next? There's so many good people to pick from. Okay, here you go. Cruella de Vil. Oh, God, no. 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 Morally, just couldn't do it. Morally, just no. could not do it. No. If it was Emma Stone's version, might consider it, but... At least she considers you family. Yeah. You know. She treats you right. No. When she finally gets over her stuff. <laughs> anybody, anybody, anybody whose, like, core ideals is, like, any sort of animal abuse, I would fucking... Uh, 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 no. Could not do it. Yeah. There's no point in that for me. Yeah. I'll nope. I figured that one would end up that way. <laughs> I would use what I learned from Scar and run and have a coup. And <laughs> we would... <laughs> <laughs> Would you also send her careening into a uh, wildebeest horde? Oh, 100%. <laughs> Where are you going to find a wildebeest horde in London? I would, I don't know, the zoo? Let's find a cliff. <laughs> find a cliff. <laughs> Maybe there's a British Fair car enough. that's called a wildebeest, and I can just have a lot of them run over her. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> that's somehow wow, worse. Violent. <laughs> that's somehow worse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's worse. I feel like after the first car, the uh, the rest of them were just overkill. <laughs> Wilderbeast, you know, it's yeah, it's gonna take several. So I don't know. I feel like Wilderbeast would be worse. It's long, it's <laughs> prolonged. Maybe, but I feel like there'd be more of a mess with the cars. Oh well, yeah, hundred percent. But that's san- <laughs> that's oh, that's a uh, city and power that has to deal or sanitation or whatever that's... has to deal with that. I mean, yeah, not it's, not your job, I guess. Yeah, it's not my problem. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, well, here we go. Here's another one for you. How about Jafar? See, same thing. Someone who's very calculated and manipulative, I'd be paranoid the whole time. But also mm-hmm. an amazing voice, so I would stick around for the speeches. <laughs> Maybe, you know, I, I could get on. I can get on board for that, but... I, I really would, think my... it's hard to tell with Jafar. Like, yeah, you know, he's had that job for a million years. You know, <laughs> he knows how to do the job. He knows how to get what he wants out of the Sultan. Um, and otherwise, he just kind of sticks to his own business. Now, his business is deception and sorcery. But, yeah. you know. I feel like I could keep his little... His little, like, tower, spire clean and... <laughs> I feel like sure I could, Yago gets fed. I guess I don't know. I feel like I could work for Jafar pre him getting the genie. Oh, mm. oh yeah, no, I'm out the door. Yeah, I feel okay. like I would quit no. when that happens. He ruins himself after that. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, nah, I'm getting out of here. This is this is a mess. <laughs> I'm not gonna clean up all this bullshit you're spawning in here. <laughs> <laughs> you could wave your arm and it's gone. Don't make me clean it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get paid enough for that. This is back. Yeah, I don't want to be the Argus Filch of Jafar's fucking kingdom. For... Oh, poor Mister. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Poor Mister Filch. So yeah, no, that's that's a no. Mm-mm. Okay, okay. Plus, I don't like the heat. I don't want to work in the desert. That's probably fair too. <laughs> well, what don't, if it's don't, post... don't 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 talk to me about dry heat and humidity? You know all that shitty. What's what if it's post post genie Jafar? And he's poofed air conditioning into existence. Okay, well, you know, mm. we can start talking benefits and, and pay rate and everything, and then, I guess. <laughs> so Ethan's on board if there's air conditioning. If there's air conditioning, no. and I have, like, job security and life security. Maybe. <laughs> life security. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he can't bring people back from the dead, so. Yeah. No, I'd be okay with the heat and stuff, but yeah, pre genie and you know, I'd be a like intern, so then I'd be out of there. Yeah, in a couple weeks. So maybe instead of like stock options, I can get like after like ten years, get like one wish from the genie or something. <laughs> That's like your like. That's creative. Like your anniversary gift, like you. Yeah, get, exactly. Like, instead of getting like a twenty-five watch. years for service, here's one. Here's one wish. Here's one wish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd stick around for that. I mean, that, oh. depending on how smart you were about your wish, it could be worth it. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. That's true. Does Great. that also mean, like, there's a sultan change every 25 years, too? I like, mean, if... Like, if that person is making the wish to be sultan, and then the next person comes in, and 
they wish to be Sultan 25 years later. And... <laughs> I, I mean, definitely would not wish to be Sultan. <laughs> be be advised by Jafar, like, you're his boss now? Yeah. Uh, no, okay, okay. Mm-mm. Fair enough. Knowing, I knowing... need him to advise me. I know yeah. what to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that feels like a Game of Thrones situation where I'm just like, I want to, tr- I know how this plays out. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. I didn't think about that. That's uh, that's fair. That's fair. He's just gonna screw you over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I get, I would get 24 years of great advice. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's see here. Um. Okay, I got I got I, I got one for you and I'm curious to see how this is going to work. But I'm talking about the mistress of evil herself, mm-hmm. Maleficent. Ooh. I was wondering when we would get to her. Now, I, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. I'll let you all I'll let you all think about it first before mm-hmm. I put my two cents in. Uh. <laughs> I think she would like she would be like the ideal truly evil Disney villain to work for, but it would also be the absolute worst to work for. She's so vain. I also think she treats her minions like crap. Does she blast them all away at times in that movie? She gets and... angry because they do something yeah. and she starts just blasting the heck out of them. Mm-hmm. But let's say you're not just yeah. a you're not a minion. You're not just one of mm-hmm. the the millions of plebes that don't, you know, whatever. Let's say I have a brain. I'll I'll be her right hand. I'll tell her, you know. Yeah, you're like there. Up. You're there. Could I just be like her, like husband, or like? Uh, well, like not don't actually, need no man. Maleficent don't need no man. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to be public. <laughs> she still don't need no man. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's all about her. Have you seen Angelina Jolie? Come on. That's, I mean, that's, that's fair. <laughs> doesn't she turn into, doesn't in the classic, doesn't she turn into a dragon? Uh-huh. Which is yeah. awesome. Yeah, I just yeah. want to ride around on her on, as she's a dragon. Oh, phrasing. Oh. Um. Yeah, I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant just like literally just soar through the air, you know. <laughs> Not. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't think she would appreciate that. <laughs> I think anybody dared to attempt to ride her dragon or otherwise i don't think would turn out so well <laughs> <laughs> yeah it'd be a short work stint but <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel like if i um, survive though i'd have great anecdotes for you know the, for the rest of my life <laughs> i mean think about the resume you're putting together i guess it, it boosts yeah, exactly. your resume mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah 100 percent mm-hmm my it's, thoughts working for her would be a risk i would consider yes yeah, my, my thoughts on the matter though are it's maleficent you know she's going to win in the end you know she's going to get what she wants therefore i feel like i would want to be on that side when it happens because hell hath no fury so Assuming there aren't any, dies. well, but we don't. We can ignore that, though. <laughs> but then, uh, you know, the Descendants uh, decom movie. She comes back to life on the island. So. For sure. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'll just hang out with her in the island years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ethan, you're answering your question that you've been asking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Now we know. <laughs> also <Nope>. gross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only if I'm getting paid for it. Um, um, <laughs> Maleficent don't pay for strange. So. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Okay, on a more serious note now. Mm. <laughs> I'll never be able to go back after this. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, um, phew. Okay, deep breath. And back in. Okay. Um, <laughs> how about, how about Sean Yu from Mulan? 
<sighs> Same answer. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there. Actually, I mean, I mean no. Working, wor- doing anything for a warlord? No. Nope. 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 No. What if it was pre Mulan? We're like you're winning all the time. Yeah, I, but then you always know that you're going to lose at some point. So, I mean, they didn't win forever. That then. <laughs> I might if I could just be like his like master of spies, where I'm just like back at the kingdom, sending out falcons with messages and shit. Sure, <laughs> I don't want to be part of his. I don't want to be part of his. On the front lines here. I don't want to be on the front lines or part of the rabble out there getting blown up by Mulan's bottle rockets. Like, that just <laughs> sounds like shit. <laughs> like, I mean, he's definitely smart. He's definitely calculated and everything. I can respect those aspects, but I have never thought of ever working for him just because I love Mulan so much. Can never think yeah. about. I mean, if that if song. I could like redirect that uh, that energy into like building a company. <laughs> <laughs> so trying to take over China. Like pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah, if we can make like the the Huns version of Google or some shit, you know, like <laughs> I'd be down for that. But no, I don't. I the idea of being in combat or war that all sounds awful. Not for me. <laughs> not here for that. Yep, yeah, not here for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, have have I hit all the points that you all were kind of hoping I would? Do they leave any major ones off the table here? I still have more on my list, so I'm not empty yet. I'm just stopping to kind of see how we're doing. Do we each have Do we each have one that we like for sure thought of that we would want to work for? I have a few that I would absolutely yeah. work for. Yes. All right. Why do you mm-hmm. go first? Well, um, I would absolutely work uh, for Isma. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> That's one of those things. It's just like, I just stay out of the way, and I can enjoy my life. It's fine. Um, I would absolutely... Well, not maybe not first choice, but I would work for Maleficent if I needed to. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I needed to. And, you know, Ursula doesn't seem so bad either, so... Yeah. Yeah. What, what about you, Chelsea? I would say um, definitely my top two would be Ursula and Captain Hook. Oh, I forgot and... Captain Hook. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> and then Maleficent would be the, you know, if there's, like, a backup. <laughs> you got, definitely you got be two the years riskiest till one retirement. Two years till retirement. Just get it over with. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'm definitely risking my life then, so it's... <laughs> Oh, is it a young person's job? Retirement or death, I guess. <laughs> Retirement or death. <laughs> they're both kind well, of I mean, with her, things. you never know. Her mood swings, you know. Were there any that you guys had that we didn't already talk about? Nope. Not for me. Mm-mm. No. Yeah. The, first one, the first one I thought of was uh, Prince John from Robin Hood. Oh, God. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. I would 100% work for Prince John because he's fucking dope. I feel like I could <laughs> manipulate him. I feel like I would just live in the castle. And when King Richard got back, it just, you know, he forgives John and we just kind of move on. I feel like it'd be a pretty easy fucking job. <laughs> so. I think I'd feel bad, like, taking advantage of all those people. Like, if I was I, in the castle, I think I'd be fine because you're not going to be involved with all that. But like if I was out doing his tax like the tax work and stuff. Oh, I like being like the I'd sheriff. Feel, yeah, I think <laughs> oh, I'd feel gosh, really no. bad. I don't think I could do that. Maybe I'd be yeah. like a like an inside man where I'm kind of like, you know, I'm working for Prince John, but I'm actually like helping out Robin Hood by giving him yes. like giving him information or you know, something like that. But I'll like Prince John talk. Prince John's so damn dumb. Like I just feel like it'd be so easy to just like that'd be a cush job. You know? Yeah, probably. Like, I can be, like, his accountant, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> and then, like I said, you know. Stupid. <laughs> so you couldn't work for stupid? Yeah. <laughs> if he's the only stupid that I have to deal with, like, top stupid, you know, I could, I could. Well, I feel like he's, like, stupid enough where he's not, like, he's not really in charge. 
if you take like, advantage I would, of the situation, you know? Yeah, like, I would just be, uh, I would just be the snake, the snake character. Like, I'd get him, I'd muscle him out, <laughs> and I would just be the, you know, the whisper in Prince John's ear. And okay. I would just, I'd be the, the Grima worm tongue for, <laughs> for Prince John. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I, I want to work for a villain that has potential, you know, to really could go all the way to be a real villain, so. Oh, no, no, I don't want, yeah. I don't want an actual villain <laughs> scheme. I want someone that I can just manipulate until King Richard gets back and then, you know, England's saved. Oh, easy life. <laughs> yeah, I got the easy <laughs> life. I want a cush job, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want something where I have to work. That's fair. I want to put in some good work, so, well good evil work i guess but you know <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> hmm. i had i had some other people included on the list like um like clayton from tarzan oh would no. not would mm-hmm. not want to would not want to no no i could not deal with working with a big game hunter i would just kill him in his sleep <laughs> or he'd kill you in his in your sleep maybe We'd have to you never know. <laughs> fight that out. Fight it out. <laughs> like that's all just a no thank you for me. Yep. Mm-mm. Um I had I had Commander Rourke from um Atlantis. Hmm. If you remember who that is. I mean I like the idea of these uh discovery missions, but then when it turns into like imperialism, I just <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say no, not when it does that. Mm -mm. Okay, um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, I had Prince Hans from Frozen. (sighs) Oh, God. He's so dumb. He's even a villain. He's so dumb. (laughs) I'm going to be like on and just punch him into the water, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, if your if your if your villainous scheme is ended by an Anna punch, do you even count as a villain? <laughs> I mean, I mean he did almost usurp an entire kingdom. Yeah, well, so, you, know, you got to look at who was in charge of that pretty kingdom. Pretty close, but <laughs> two awesome wow. women. Thank you very much. <laughs> we don't have to, we don't have to go down. Very sheltered. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to go down these shredded waters again. Oh, let's see. They're frozen, so it's gonna be hard. <laughs> Um, the only person, the only, the only one left on my list that we haven't talked about yet is, um, Captain Gondu from Lilo and Stitch. Oh, but God. really, is he the villain or is that, is his Jumba? Mm. Is that his name? The, the evil doctor, yeah. you know? God, yeah. I guess it kind of depends on what side you want to sit on, on that. But I don't think I'd work for either of them, so. Yeah. I don't want to be in no space army, mm. so. <laughs> I was like, well, army. going around in space would be cool, but yeah, but you know, it's know. like Star Trek, where all the red shirts are gonna die at some point. So yeah, I don't want to be a red shirt. Yeah, just no thank yeah. you. Not that. I don't want to be on the away team. <laughs> 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 like, no, sir, I pass. I have a, I have a cold. I can't go on this one. You know, maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time. And and, and that's what I have for you all. Unless, is there anybody else you all want to bring up? Mm. Nobody else to work for. Mm. No. Not that I can think of. I'm just thinking about uh, how, like, I really like Atlantis, The Lost Empire as a movie. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm like, I was, when I was reading about Commander Orc, I was like, I, I kind of want to go watch Atlantis. But... I know. Mm. I had also, the, uh, such a long time. I also kind of want to go watch uh, Oliver and Company as well. So, oh yeah, oh, yes. freaking love Oliver. Me too. Although I mean, I guess we could work for the the guy, like the mob boss dude, and that. But I don't think I'd mm. want to do that either. Mm, I, uh, Thank you. I don't you don't really see like you don't really see how he treats his employees, just his dogs. So. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they should all these uh, all these Disney live action remakes. Maybe they should do an Atlantis: The Lost Empire live action. Ooh, I mean, that would be freaking amazing. Like that, could, I I could see that something actually worth a live action instead of some of the stuff they've been picking. Mm-hmm. Like that could be like a visual feast, right? Yes, definitely. I guess they gotta I get d- their classics out of the way first. 
Yeah. There you I go, guess. Ethan. Pitch it to them. Yeah. All right, Disney. You heard it here first. I get. I get <laughs> percentage of the profits. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Are the, what is the next live? Isn't it the Little Mermaid? Isn't that the I next guess. one? I'm pretty sure. Is that yeah, movie it, ever gonna come out? I think it's supposed to come out next year. Yeah, well, they, they just I, they finished filming. I know. Oh, did they finally? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they last released night, like a set photo like in the summer. Because they, like, I knew that they were something. like circulating through their cast really fast. Yeah. Because they were all like, "This is stupid." <laughs> <laughs> so they had to keep replacing people. Yeah, I saw. I remember seeing the because uh, it was like a silhouette shot of Ariel like mm-hmm. on the beach, and it was like wrapped. I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Keep swiping. <laughs> but I can't think of another one that they have like in the works besides the Little oh, Mermaid. Oh, Hercules. As a live action? Yeah, yeah. The um, 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 the guys who did like Endgame and stuff are doing it. What the Russo yeah. brothers? Yeah, they're doing it. What? What the? Uh huh. Blowing my mind right now. Yeah, and they're gonna they're gonna make it silly and like a musical, like the original one was too. Oh god! Like they're not they're not gonna go off on a (laughs) on a tangent and do their own thing. Like they want to have fun with it, and I'm all about it. Let's freaking go! Yeah, I just lost all interest. (laughs) That's like my least favorite part of the film is like the cutaways to like the like the little musical sisters or whatever. Lame. Lame. I wanted more like the. I wanted more of just like Hercules like, being Hercules fighting the mythical monsters and stuff, and more no. Danny DeVito. <laughs> just put Danny DeVito <laughs> back in that film in live action. <laughs> God, that would be awesome. That would be a thing. That would. I'd watch it. I would thing. watch it. I would watch it then. If it was Danny DeVito. <laughs> They'll do something stupid and cast like Chris Pratt as Hercules though. Something dumb. Gross. They'll ruin they it. Better no, not. they better not. Don't joke. They'll don't ruin. Joke. They'll don't they'll hundred percent do like. They'll either be Tom Holland because they love working with him, or it'll be Chris Pratt. <laughs> no, just no. I have nothing else to say on the matter. Just no. <laughs> and with that, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, they're doing Pinocchio. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Are right. They? Really? Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, I do, okay. I do remember seeing that. Yeah. Who's There's actually... so many Pinocchio yeah. live-action versions, just not Disney ones. Isn't someone oh. like... Uh, who's the who's the director they have for it? I thought it was someone of, like, note. Like, it wasn't, like, some just a like, random... Oh, yeah, I think this is the one with Tom Hanks. Robert Zemix, maybe? Is that, is that Robert? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I knew, yeah, I knew there was someone of, like... Something like that, yeah. I, I think, I don't know. I, I remember seeing something about it a while back, but... Well, hey, listeners, uh, if we're totally wrong, you can write in. <laughs> send yeah, in your is, cor- this is all news to me. I'm like, what? Yeah, send, it, send in your corrections. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We'll get back to you, never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get back to you and let us know what villain you would work for. Yeah. Yep. And your corrections. <laughs> <laughs> first right. the corrections, I guess. Well, okay. Anybody yeah, got first anything the... else to add? No, I can't think nope. of any other Disney villains. You know, coming up blank. I mean Not like that would work for. Would you count you can count the Emperor, I guess, for Star Wars. Oh hell no! I would not work for the <laughs> I wouldn't work for the evil queen. Mm-mm. Yeah, I no. didn't put her on my list because I was like, heck no! Just all around, just get out. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess it, it, it's. Do like Marvel villains count now? <laughs> <laughs> it just depends on how technical you oh, want to get no. now. <laughs> I don't want to, yeah. No, no. <laughs> we're just, we're not going to open rabbit that hole. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Mm-hmm. It's another episode. <laughs> yes. There you go. There you go, listeners. That's what you call a tease. <laughs> <laughs> yep, no, I can't think of anyone else. 
All right, well, let's Disney wrap or this otherwise, up then, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, guys, I hope you all liked this episode. Um, we've been wanting to do Disney villains for a while, and um, I think we found a pretty good use for them in in, in my boat. Um, so, you know, if if you liked the episode, please let us know. Uh, if you didn't like it, let us know. We're fine. <laughs> like, feedback is feedback. We're good with anything, you know. Uh, just whatever you do, just make sure that you like and subscribe wherever you listen to the podcast so that you don't miss out on the next episodes, um, which are all going to be Halloween themed. So, you know, enjoy that. Uh, and um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at demasteredpodcast at gmail.com. Um, so that's it from us. Have a great week. 